hello 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 my beautiful and my lovely people how are you all doing today yes i know you're good i know you're good because if god be for you and i you can be against us nobody we are coming as strong daily to the glory of the lord my older my new subscribers you're always welcome god bless you all richly in the name of jesus amen i have a word for somebody today your kingdom spouse is you your kingdom spouse is you he him and you are the same the word of god says two will leave their parents and they will be joined together they will become one don't be selfish for each other don't be selfish for each other if your wife is not working what is what are you going to to, to enjoy what are you going to gain when you see her suffering for that little thing that she made and you are so selfish in order to do it for her remember the first time you met her, the way you were glued to her, the way you buy her a gift, the way you want to take her out. But this time, what happened? Even though you have kids, even though you're married, even though you have kids, even though now it, it, nothing, there is nothing, but little thing that you can do matters a lot. The little you can do matters a lot. The way you leave her now because she's not working, you don't want to help, you don't want to support. You don't want to do anything for her. You're just doing everything for your, your home, your parents, and you're doing everything for people elsewhere. But your spouse, you cannot take care of her. Your kids, you cannot take care of them. That is not good. Your prayer might be hindered. The way she's looking, do you like it? You praising other people outside, looking at your own at home. Your own don't have even, even money to buy even little ice cream because you feel she's not working you have married her already she should go and fight for herself when you are selfish for your spouse you are selfish for yourself because the word of god says both of you are now one you have to take care of what god has given to you do you know that if a woman is working we just decide to work because we don't want to be a liability but if we want to be biblical if you want to take it to the if you want to take it to the Christian way, the word of God says we are the key parts of the home. We are the helpmates. The man should work and take care of us. He said a man that can never take care of his home is more than an eat feeder. So if we are so, if we, we are supporting, we are helping, it's a plus. So your wife is not working now because there is a baby, there is children, she she she, she has been looking for work, no work. You have to support. Don't be selfish for your wife. You and your wife are one. Don't let nobody. Don't let your family. Don't let anybody. Because if that marriage go wrong, God is going to ask you as the man. God is going to ask you as the man. Don't let your, 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 your family control your home. Don't let people control your home. Those your friends that you think that they are not doing anything in their home, that is advising you wrongly, they are doing things in their home. They are helping their wives. They are deceiving you. They are deceiving you. Don't fall for it. Help your wife. Take care of your children. Take care of your family. Let your wife be happily praying for you. Let your wife be happily praying for you. When she's working, she will not hide her money for you. Because what you do to her now is what she will do to you when she has her own. Support your wife to be who God has assigned her to be. Don't put her in a, a bottle that she cannot come after. Don't body shape her. Don't talk to her anyhow. Because when you are talking to your wife anyhow, when you are selfish for your wife, you are selfish for yourself. Let your wife shine. Give your wife space to breathe. Help her. Don't be lacking other women outside. You can make your wife who she wants to be. If you know that she's not dressing well, that money, why not give it to her? Even though it's the cheaper one she's going to buy. Don't be selfish for your wife. Don't offend her so that God will not close the door of your blessing. As from today, I pray, may that spirit of giving come into you. And may that spirit of standing for your home, of not letting every other rule your home, come into you. As from today, you will take charge as the man in the name of Jesus. Because the word of God says you have to stand with her as Christ stands for the church. And he gave himself for it. That is how you have to stand for her. You letting your family to bully her, letting your family to do all sorts of things to her, they are doing it to you because both of you are one. Change so that more blessing will come. 
I pray for you. May God bless you and may God help you to build your hope in the mighty name of Jesus. Before we meet again, shalom. God bless you. Ciao. If you have not subscribed, please subscribe. And those of you that have subscribed, I bless you in the name of Jesus. You go from strength to strength. There shall be no loss in your home in Jesus' name. Amen. Shalom.